I'm out. All right. Hey, you too. What's up, everybody? So sorry it took me a little bit to get ready. I had some uh, technical difficulties, but I'm here. Hi, Clifton. How are you, Ben? Oh, give everybody a little bit of time to get in. Of course, it's the very first YouTube live stream. Yay! Hey, Louie. Um, hold on. Get stuff out. Joseph, hello. Big feats. Hi, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I am not in my uh, normal space as anybody, as you guys can probably tell. I am a little flustered. <laughs> Had to run the dog over to uh, the mother-in-law's. And now I am here. Yeah, mom and dad's basement is actually where I am. So what's up, guys? Clifton, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate that. Oh, let me. Sorry, I'm still kind of adjusting in everything, but welcome in. I appreciate you guys being here. Alfonso, what up? Hey, guys, um, go share this stream on social media, if you all don't mind, so that we can try to get some more people in. Maybe over on Facebook and Twitter and all that goodness, but happy you all are here. <laughs> I'm happy to be on YouTube. I'm happy to be doing this instead of on Instagram because uh, I it, it was a little bit limiting over on Instagram, and you know I'm just I'm just happy to be here. But we're gonna have fun. We're gonna drink some bourbon, of course. I'm doing some staples, and then we're gonna have um, something special which I have just put, uh, picked up. Um, Clifton, thank you for doing that, man. I appreciate you. But anyway, so first things first, welcome. I'm happy that everybody's here. I appreciate you guys showing up for this. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think, especially now that we're on Instagram, or excuse me, on YouTube, because, you know, it's a great great place for this kind of content. Um Oh, it's Zofer. Ah, uh, <laughs> didn't know that was your name, Zofer. Sorry, dude. <laughs> okay, so the basic lineup is going to be Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond, on to Turkey 101, and then Weller 107, and to round it out, the newest batch of Booker's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's the Kentucky Chew, y'all. The Kentucky Chew. What up? So punk. Okay, let's pour something. I'm thirsty. Uh, what's everybody drinking? Let me know. I am super happy to be hanging out with you guys on a Friday night. My wife Lucy is out of town on work, so I am just kind of hanging out here and, you know, going to be drinking. Um, wearing my It's Bourbon Night shirt, uh, which I got, of course, from Chad and Sarah. Speaking of Chad and Sarah, I'm going to be hanging out with them in Bardstown tomorrow for the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. So if you guys are around, please come over and say hi to us and share pour, of course, because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. So. New episode came out this week as well with a couple of Australian folks. And, uh, you know, it's fun. I revisited the double oak with a different cigar. What cigar are you smoking with it, Joe? Drinking water tonight on daddy duty. That sucks. I'm not there yet. I don't have to deal with that yet. It's a little ways off. Heading home to enjoy my new bottle of Booker's Backyard Barbecue. That is a great bottle of Booker's. I really enjoy that one. Um, what's this button do? Does this mute my... Yep, that's what it does. <laughs> I've heard good things about those anacondas, Joe. Okay, let's drink bourbon, please. So this has not been... You know, it's funny. 
So the the theme of the night is going to be staples uh, in my in my bourbon cabinet, bourbon bunker, whatever. And the first one I wanted to hit on was, of course, Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond. And oh, I don't. I've never had Tuggy's Investigation before, Joseph. Is it good? Oh, I guess you said it was sweet. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what's funny? Uh, we keep talking about how Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond is about to go away and become an entirely different bourbon and go premium and go to go nationwide and everything. And honestly, this bottle, for whatever reason, has been a little bit underwhelming. I've had it open for a couple of days, and it's been pretty good. I mean, it's not been spectacular necessarily, but it's been real decent. Um, uh, big Feats. I'm, I'm still going to call you Big Feats, by the way. I'm not going to call you Chris, because that's how I know you. It made me approve whether or not I was going to allow you to post it that you were drinking Fighting Cock. <laughs> You know, YouTube is. Anyway, there's been something a little bit underwhelming about this bottle and, and a little bit disappointing too, honestly. I've just kind of been, I don't know, like it's been hotter than it normally is. And it's tasted a little bit younger than it normally does. And I don't know, it's just kind of, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show how about your mother? But there is a theory that they subscribe to that when you are leaving somewhere significant in your life, you go through what's called graduation goggles. And it means that you see all of the things that you used to hate in a new light. And you all of a sudden, you know, appreciate all of those good things. And it kind of is the opposite for me right now with the Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. Like, I'm not too, I don't know, like, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where this is going in the future, but, you know, we'll see. I'm going to uh, turn on another light real quick. Because it's awfully dark down here. That might help a little bit. See, now I'm backlit and front lit and just lit. Well, not yet. <laughs> not going to get lit. I'm at my mom and dad's house. Oh, goodness. How's everybody's week been, by the way? Uh, my palate is maturing or getting fried. That's possible. I could, I could honestly see either of those things being true. I mean, I've... And I'm not trying to say that, like, I've just had a lot to drink recently but i have been trying a lot of new and different things some of them higher proof and so it's possible that i've just kind of you know gotten a little burnt out uh on my palate but at, at the same time i'll say that i am is that light flickering oh fantastic the light behind me is flickering Lovely. What's funny, though, is you talk about it, you know, being fried, but I'm. I just bought this bottle of Turkey 101. And I'm discovering things on it that I've never I've never tried before. Like, I've, I've never noticed this really specific almond butter note on it. But it just all of a sudden popped out to me and I'm like, where is this coming from? Yeah, poltergeist. It's definitely a poltergeist. <laughs> uh, Clifton said, well, we don't have Heaven Hill bottled a bond here. I never got the craze for Evan Williams products. They just taste mad at me. For some reason, I read meh as meth. And I'm not, <laughs> not sure why. <laughs> it's just one letter away. Um, so anyway, I, I just feel like I'm... I feel like I'm tasting and experiencing things in a different way. So I think it is really more that my palate is maturing more than it is I'm getting burnt out or fried or anything. So I don't know. I don't know. That being said, this is not, I keep moving it out of the way. Out of the way. I'm sorry. 
actually like the Evan Williams single barrel pretty well. Yeah, my dad actually has a bottle upstairs right now that is really good. It's really good. It's super full of peanuts. Not peanut butter necessarily, but it's like really peanutty. And it's it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Anyway, that being said, this is not terrible. It's just not as good as I have had it in the past. So it could be that they're kind of getting to the end of their good stock. And, you know, happens. It happens. I mean, we're going to eventually see this go away completely. So, sucks. But here we are. I keep saying that, too. I keep saying that. Um, guess you got a bad barrel. You know, I've had plenty of bad single barrels before. Chad, of course, has a really bad E.H. Uh, e. Taylor single barrel. As they say, it tastes like wet hay. <laughs> I've had a bad Blanton's before. I've had a bad Henry McKenna. You know, single barrels happen. They, bad single barrels happen, you know. But good stuff. When the good stuff is really good, that's what's that's when it's uh, important, and that's when you hold on to it. So. Not gonna miss it as we've never had it. Yeah. <laughs> a very bald, eagly. Oh, ba a bad eagle rare. I read that as bald eagle for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yes, Dad did have a bad. So Dad's upstairs. Dad's going to be coming down in a little bit to um, try this Booker's out with me. Interesting thing is I bought two Henry McKenna from the same barrel. There's a difference in taste. From the same barrel? Now that's bizarre. That's something I've never heard of before. Hey, Dad, how'd you do on um, HQ, by the way? <laughs> Dad was playing HQ before I, before I got started. Okay. I'm going to move on now to good old Turkey 101. One of my favorites. So I just, I got, I just discovered, you got seven. Good. I just discovered something. This is the music nerd in me. So don't know if you, if you guys can hear it. Oh, Joseph, you stop that. Um, listen to this. Listen to this. So you pop and there's that note. But then, it's the same note. It's crazy. It blew my mind. It's nothing really, you know, specific, but just kind of, kind of surprised me. I found that out earlier today. It's just me, just me. <laughs> I'm a music nerd too. So, how many different nerds can I be? Comic book. I don't know. Too many to count. Too many to count. Doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a little bit of that almond on there. Debbie, <laughs> where are all the girls? Girls don't drink bourbon. Girls, of course, drink bourbon. My wife doesn't drink bourbon very much, but I I like getting her on to drink bourbon from time to time. But Debbie, absolutely, I, I want to have more uh, women on to drink bourbon in the future because there is a really growing number of women who love drinking bourbon. And I, I want, I want to have more people on, more women on to to talk about it, um, especially difference in palate and everything. But yeah, thank you for bringing that up. I really do appreciate that. Met Debbie last year. Oh, hi Debbie. <laughs> I remember you now. That was a long day. It was so hot. So speaking of bourbon and beyond. Next weekend, uh, there's a women's whiskey meetup here in LA. I've always wanted to go because I don't know of another one for men slash both. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, speaking of Bourbon and Beyond, by the way, next weekend is Bourbon and Beyond, of course. And I am going to be there both days with uh, my co-host, Curtis. And we're, I mean, we're going to be hanging out all day. So all of both days. And not only are we going to be listening to music and, and participating in some of the workshops and everything. But we also have this amazing opportunity to 
talk to the bourbon folk that are going to be there and actually some of the musicians as well. And I'm still working on getting some of the chefs from that are going to be there on the show. So I'm going to be, I, I, I've been just sending out blast after blast of email trying to get people to come on the show. So if you're going to be in town for it next weekend, be on the lookout for, for us. I'm probably going to be wearing a, this is my bourbon podcast t-shirt. So, and if I'm not, I'm going to be wearing an, uh, it's bourbon night shirt. So either way, you know, I'll be around, I'll be around. But anyway, I just wanted to put that on y'all's radar, uh, because we're going to have a couple of really good episodes coming out from bourbon and beyond that consist of the interviews and the chats and everything that we have. Excuse me while we're there. I apologize. Always happens. As our friends from Australia say, excuse the pig. He's with us. So let's talk bourbon because that's what we're here for, right? On this is my bourbon podcast live stream. I still get that really prominent almond note like toasted almonds now. N not so much like that sweet almond butter that I was getting before. And I've, I'm, I'm drinking out of a rocks glass. So it's possible that, you know, when I was drinking out of the Glencairn that I taste the almond butter more then. But, you know, I, it just, the, the specific toasted almonds are really coming through on this. And it's fabulous. It's so freaking good. On a live stream a couple weeks ago, too, I was drinking on a bottle of E.H. Taylor Small Batch that, again, was really different. It was just this really oak-forward bottle of Small Batch that I love. And Chad and Sarah, I think, are actually supposed to be trying it tonight. Hey, Will, how are you? Good with a bit of dark chocolate. Ooh, ooh, I get, I, I could totally see that. I could totally see that. I've actually been, so there's a, a local chocolate company here that if you're from Kentucky, you know, Laura's Lean Beef, who, it, Laura was a, is a, she ran a farm um, and was really popular in the, you know, from like the eighties on for her beef and she had like commercials and everything, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, she was injured. And she started taking CBD oil, which this is kind of a sidetrack, but it is uh, derived from hemp extract. And I take it for other things too. But she makes this really great dark chocolate with uh, hemp seed too. But I've never considered wild turkey a high rye bourbon. Isn't it lower than 20%? I don't know. I've always I've always heard that it's a high rye bourbon. That's a that's a um that's a good question. Oh dad, I didn't know that you and Laura's brother were good friends. We will chat about that in a little bit. Anyway, she makes a really good oh yeah. I mean I know that it's high rye. I've always thought of it as high rye, but I don't know what the actual mash bill of it is. So We'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, she makes really good dark chocolate that has like hemp seed in it. And it's just fantastic. It has a, a dried raspberries, or, or, um, cranberries, craisins. That's what I'm looking for. It has craisins in it too. It's really good. So anyway, yes, it is a high rye bourbon. And that's what I've always considered it to be too. But I don't know what the mash bill is on it. So if somebody can look that up real quick, see what the mash bill is on um turkey that'd be great i think they pride themselves on being a high rye product through and through but could be wrong 75 13 12 really really that's interesting it Okay, so we're opening like a whole can of worms here when we start talking about high rye bourbons because, and and it's funny because the next thing I'm going to have is a weeded bourbon. Um, yeah, I really did think that it was higher than that. I agree with you, Clifton. 
but you know, I've said for a long time that Heaven Hill, or excuse me, Heaven Hill, the Turkey 101 is kind of inaccessible for new bourbon drinkers, but I think that if the rye in the in the mash bill is that low, it could be possible that it's, you know, easier to access for people. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have had a long day. Yeah. Four roses is high rye bullet is high rye. Um, one of four roses mash bills is high rye. And I think it's the B it's the B recipe. That's high rye. The E is a uh, like 75% corn from from what I remember. But getting messages on. Uh yeah, oh the the E recipes are lower rye. Yeah. Bullet is high rye. Yes. It's you know said that Bullet actually sources their bourbon from four roses. That's to be, you know, established, but that's just kind of you know some of the go ahead to shuck off a long day with wild turkey one. You're not kidding. Um you know what? I have found myself reaching for Turkey 101 more recently than I, I ever have because it's so cheap and it's so the the proof is so good. It's so complex for, you know, being $20. But I just I love it so much and I always try to keep a bottle of it stocked uh, for a, kind of an everyday drinker. Four Roses is next on your hit list. Good 101 now. Big Feats is, yeah, he's right above you there, Dad. Picked up five bottles on sale for $16 each. That's amazing. That's amazing. Breakfast drinker. <laughs> so I'm going to be actually waiting uh, tomorrow morning for the Four Roses 130th um, small batch thing release. <laughs> so... I'm going to be hanging out with Chad and Sarah, too. So uh, Turkey is always within reach when you're hanging out with Chad and Sarah. So it's possible that that will be around, too. Your wild turkey is Old Forester Signature. Interesting. Interesting. I recently got a bottle of Old Forester Bottled and Bond. It was just a little 200 mil bottle from, like, 90, 95. I think I can't I can't remember for sure. It was mid 90s when it was put out. It's really freaking good. I like it better than what <laughs> content material. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um Anyway. What was I saying? I completely I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, the old forester. There we go. Anyway, it's really different from what Old Forester is nowadays. And, you know, if you put a little bit of uh, bourbon in your in your, uh, your syrup, it wouldn't be too bad. Wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> couldn't, be, couldn't be too bad. I mean, it would help you, you know, if you're suffering a little bit from the night before. But that's actually not true. I think that uh, the whole hair of the dog thing is a load of crap. I don't believe that at all, but that's just me. <laughs> all right, I'm going to finish up this turkey so we can move on to some Weller 107. And you know what? Um, what, you guys don't believe in uh, hair of the dog either? Yeah, I just think it's, I, I don't think that it's, Real, I mean, like I've, I mean, I've been hung over before and and tried, and it just didn't take. And I mean, I felt I only felt worse because of it, you know. I it's just, it's just crap. It's not a good call. Advil, water, sitting in a dark room, watching Star Wars, <laughs> getting a, getting like a, a cheeseburger or something. Everybody has their, like, hangover cures. And you know what? I might do an episode sometime soon on uh, hangover cures. 
excuse the dog. Um, clean this out. Pedialyte. Yeah, have you seen that? <laughs> have you seen the Pedialyte leaned into that marketing? I mean, they have really taken to that, and it's hilarious. It cracks me up so much. Oh, that just kills me. Kills me, dude. Oh. Okay. Can add vodka to what? To Gatorade? To Pedialyte? No. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not a vodka person. I can I can stomach it. Oh, to Pedialyte. Okay. I got you. I got you. I can stomach it. I just don't like it. I don't think that it, it's just uninteresting to me. Add vodka to rye and call it Canadian whiskey. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Faderade. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, let's see. I had a message. It doesn't matter. So, um, moved on to, of course, Weller one hundred and seven. Sorry for the sorry for the dead air. Apologize for that. And such a one hundred and eighty. I mean, a complete one hundred and eighty from the the Turkey one hundred and one. And um, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. So I am tomorrow night recording an episode of a show called the cluttered cluttered desk podcast. And it is from my friend Colin Cox, who does a, an, an arrest development review podcast that I've actually, I've actually had them on the, this is my urban podcast before him and his friend, John, my friend now, John too. But Colin does this other show called the cluttered desk and I was asked to be on this show and talk about bourbon. And so instinctually, I was like, well, I'll send them a whole bunch of samples and have them, you know, walk through trying different bourbons. And so I'm starting real low with Jim Beam and then Makers and then Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond and then all the way up to Elijah Craig Barrel Proof so that I can kind of run the spectrum with them and talk about different aspects of bourbon and, and all this good stuff. But then I sent them a blind flight as well. Well, really, it's just a blind pair, I guess. But what it was of is 107 and Turkey 101. So the idea was take two different bourbons of fairly similar proof but on different ends of the spectrum and have them talk about you know what it is that they like about each based on what they were just taught and everything and you know try to see what they can pick out and, and you know they will have had not necessarily a high rye bourbon, but they will have had a weeder at that point, but they'll had something in the 100 proof range so that they can, you know, their palate will be somewhat acclimated to it. So what my plan is, and they, they're not in here right now. They're not, I don't think that they're watching. If they are, you know, I have, I have no idea, but anyway, The, the idea is to have them, you know, blindly try something that they've probably never had before and talk about it and see how well their palate has developed, even in just a short time and, you know, all that good stuff. So anyway, that's that's my plan for that episode. And I will tweet out links, of course, and everything when it comes out. It'll probably be a few weeks before. And it's going to be two different episodes. The first one's going to be where I walk them through and teach them how to taste bourbon and everything. And then the second one's going to be the uh, kind of Q&A portion of it. So just just be on the lookout for that. Uh, lots flowing in in the chat. How much is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof where you are? It's about 65. <clears throat> 60 to 65. And then you can go to the Heaven Hill gift shop and get it for... 
like 70 or 75. I'd rather wait for it to come out locally. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we're on the shelf, San Diego, LA, everybody's all around each other. Yeah, you guys should do like a little, uh, do like a little meetup. That'd be kind of cool. Be cool. Do a little bourbon get together. I've always said, and, and to piggyback off of what William said, I have always kind of thought that Weller 107 was a bit floral and kind of rosy, but also with a really strong hint of like cherries. Like it, not quite cherry cordial necessarily, but I haven't really talked a whole lot about what I've been tasting it, and and i'm gonna take a little bit of time with this one because this is and it still has the heat you know i mean it's 107 proof so of course it's going to be a little bit hot but still but so easy and warm on the palate I mean, it just hits with that. Dag on. It hits with those baked goods notes and just rolls in so many great ways. I mean, I I love I love this bourbon. I really do. How does it compare to the Rebel Yell Ten Year? I prefer this personally. Personally, like 107 out of the fridge, no ice, just cold. I could I could get behind that. Um. What's fifty dollars in Ohio? This this is fifty dollars in Ohio because if it's fifty dollars in Ohio, you don't go buying any of this. No, 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 no. Oh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, fifty bucks for that in Ohio. Well, anywhere that's perfect. That's amazing. Even sixty five. I mean, I'm okay with, but fifty, I'd be buying two. I'd be buying two of those. But just me, just me. I mean, I did just buy a bottle of Booker's. So stick around for that. We're going to be drinking that uh, uh, here in a little bit, too. Dad's going to head down here in about, oh, Dad, make it about five minutes if you're still watching. <laughs> yeah, OWA at about $25 is pretty perfect. I wish that it were not a screw top, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't diminish the quality of the product. So that's that. That's that. Whatever. I mean, I think that it's... There is something really... I think it's the wheat that is causing me to smell this... Not baked goods, but like... flowery, buttery note on it that is just so... I mean, I just love it. I love it so much. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see what the it would be like. So that's what the cork pop would be. Uh, Dave, you missed, you missed my turkey segment. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I'll take it easy, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Do I reach for o OWA over Weller 12? I Yeah, because it's easier to find OWA than it is Weller 12. And actually, I just kind of like it a little bit. Oh, it's okay, Dave. Don't worry. I actually like it a little bit better overall than I do uh, Weller 12, just because it's got more flavor. It's got more oomph to it than Weller 12 does. It's I mean, Weller 12 is a, a 90 proof, whereas this is 107. So... Excuse me. I apologize. Warm baked flowers. Yes. The cherry is fabulous on it. I mean, it's very prevalent, honestly. And just fint. I mean, it, it's just so good. I It's one of my favorite pours. And I hate when it gets this low, but... Oh, well. And it has such a... Sorry, sorry, I have to adjust the mic. It 
has such a warm coating to it as, as well. I mean, it, it's so full on the palate and so viscous. And it just makes me want to drink more of it. I mean, it really does. It really makes me want to have more, more sips of it. And uh, yeah, mouthfeel, as Chad would say. <laughs> hey, what's everybody drinking, by the way? I don't know if I asked that yet. It's Friday night, so you know we gotta we gotta have a little bit of fun. Tongue punch. I think tongue punch was actually coined on the episode that I was on of It's Bourbon Night, where we did the uncorking of the old Forester um, statesman. I think that was the first time that he ever said tongue punch, because I don't ever remember it before then. And we, like Sarah and I, reacted to it in such a like we were so taken aback by it that it was like, oh, this is <laughs> this is abnormal. <laughs> um, Knob Creek single barrel, double oaked, yes. Switch to following uh, one oh seven, and I have it next to uh, the special reserve. What do you prefer out of the two? Tongue dance. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good it's a good tongue dance. Sure, why not? Single cask nation wild turkey rickhouse K pick. Man, Dave, you just get you get all the good stuff, man. You do. So real quick, um, Rearbird one hundred one, who is Dave Jennings, was on an episode of Bourbon Pursuit recently. And he is going to actually be on an episode of this is my bourbon podcast here soon too. Not trying to piggyback off of what they do. We've been talking about it for a while. And unfortunately it's just, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I think I hear somebody coming downstairs though. Oh, a Russell's rye pick or just a single barrel. Sorry. Hey dad. Hey, when you when you come back, yeah. um, will you grab Glen Cairns out of the, Absolutely. Out of the glass? Can I say hey? hey? Yeah, sure. Hey. Hey. It's Dad. Oh, Dad's here. <laughs> We're gonna be drinking Booker's here in a second. Uh, so Dad's gotta pee first. Frontwards or backwards? I can't remember. Well, this it'll is, be uh, it'll be frontwards for them. I'll, I'll tell you about the shirt. Okay. And, uh, oh shoot. Okay. That's right. Yeah, that's gonna be anyway. So Dave Jennings is gonna be on the show sometime soon. And um, we are, I, I'm, I'm really excited to have him on. He sent me a, um, a whole pack of samples that I am super excited to dive into. And I think actually we're going to talk about uh, and drink when he's on the show. And Dave, I need to talk to you about something too <laughs> sometime soon, but We'll we'll get to it. We'll get to it. It's not it's not time for business. It's time for bourbon and fun. So let me move the uh, the Beatles box set out of the way too. This is the original studio records. I think this might be the uh, I think this is the stereo box set. Yeah. Dad and I are big music people too. I mean, as I was saying earlier, but. Um, jealous my dad only drank Bud Light. <laughs> my dad is a bourbon drinker through and through. And, um, you know, I, it, I, I've said it before, but I owe my, I owe like, like my, what is the word? My inclination to bourbon to my dad being you know a bourbon drinker because if i had not seen makers as much as i did growing up then i wouldn't have ever been like oh that's you know something that's around and i should probably try that at some point and sure enough i did but anyway let's adjust a little bit here uh let's see what else yes we will have a very good episode 
Johnny Walker Blue. Wow. Your dad's got expensive taste. <laughs> that blend with 17 rare breed and regular Russell is amazing. Rare breed. I have a whole bottle of it. Never mind. That's that's awesome. That's very nice. Dad didn't drink, so I had to do all the research. I did a lot of research when I, I started getting into bourbon. So you're a mere lad of nine told and you stole bottles from me when I did not. I did not. Don't listen to him. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't start drinking until I was in college. And late in college. Well, mid in mid in college. I was late in college for me was well, it's not we're not using the camera there, we're using my laptop. Um nobody commented on the South Park guy. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, big feats plug for um, Justin's house of bourbon. <laughs> big feats um, is drinking McKenna 80 proof. Sup big feats. Uh, Dave, please, please me was recorded in one day. Yes, it was. I didn't know that. I heard that on, I heard that today. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh? So, I had no idea. Um, Got something to show everybody. Here's some guitar picks. This is Perry's pick I had made for him. <laughs> These are uh, two of mine. Um, also, I'm not I, that much bigger than my dad. I probably, it's, I'm like no, way, I'm way this close. Stuff. This is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, will um, you want guitar picks? <laughs> They're cool. Who's and Will? Is he one of your friends? Will who? Will Pran? No, huh? dude, I don't know, Will. Oh, okay. Um, no, I was just like, we were talking earlier. Oh, I know. You just talked like you were, like, you no, know. No, I don't know. Okay. Good deal. Didn't he Good have, deal. like, breakfast? Is that the dude with breakfast? Yeah, turkey? breakfast turkey. Yeah. Um, Somebody wants us to break out the, oh, Matt wants us to break out the Bower Hill. What's the Bower? That was oh, the thing pfft, he had on no, the last. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the pink picks, the pink picks, I drew this. Wait, where are we at? I drew that guy, and I, I'm like, I have no artistic value at all in my life. I honestly got I, I drew that stick dude in on the back of it because because of um Eddie Murphy's coming to America. Yes. Sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Yeah, right and that's all we're gonna do. That. Kick ass picks. Yeah. So um, we're gonna we're going to I uh, do a, an official Wait a second, can I say something real fast? I guess <laughs> from from like one of the podcasts. This is the Bob Dylan thing I was staring at. When were you talking about that? Because I was looking around. You know, you were up, you were here, and I was back there. And you're like, "What are you looking at, Dad?" I'm like, "Bob Dylan." Oh, I don't remember that at all. Oh well. Anyway, have a lot of the official on Ritter. <laughs> okay, so we're doing a first crack on the newest release of Booker's, which is Booker's Kentucky Chew, 2018-03. Perfect. Sweet. Perfect pop. So pop. So. Six years, <coughs> right. nice. Six years, four months, twelve days, hundred and twenty-six point seven proof. So I'm sleeping down here. Do you know? Do you know why it's called Kentucky Chew? Talk to me. So the reason it's called Kentucky Chew is because it was a term that was coined, um, not by Booker No, I don't think, mm. but it was the process that he went through when he was tasting bourbon. So what he would do was he would. Take a sip up. This bottle is right in my face. Yeah, it's, um, in, your, it's in your area. He would take a. He would take a. You almost said crevice, didn't you? <laughs> I said grill. I almost said grill. Okay. <laughs> it was like I thought I heard crevice, and I was like, "What does that mean?" No, I'm anyway, like five years behind. It's like um, grill. Yeah. So what he would do was he would take a sip and he would swish it around. Yeah. And then he'd go, and it was like he's chewing. Like chewing. On it. Yeah. yeah. And that was his process and tasting. So this is named Kentucky Chew after that. Okay, I like yeah. that. I don't like the. I can't stand smacking <laughs> lips. Don't. Uh, Matt said it's not Maker's Dad. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Matt, it doesn't happen anymore, buddy. Oh, Dad, is it sweetness? Smell that nose. Holy, it's very sweet actually on the nose. It doesn't fruity. have that. Yeah, it it doesn't have that. Like in the other bookers that we've had this year, it doesn't seem to have that that big waft that it has in the others. No, but I actually kind of like you know what I mean? this. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. But I like this nose better so far of the bookers that have come out this year because I think that it's a little bit this more. Might be my fave. It's a little bit more. I haven't even tried it. 
I mean, it's it's a little subdued, but I think that it's to its credit that it's, you know, not. So <coughs> <laughs> that it's a little bit more. get to, you know, you get to experience it more. I'm yeah, really more mellow. Kind of, exactly. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Pran. <laughs> Is Pran from L.A.? No, he's from Indiana. Indiana. I'm pretty who's sure. The, oh, uh, who's the L.A. guy? Oh, Clifton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You think it was Mike? Do you know my cousin, Michael Skates? I'm just kidding. <laughs> he lives in NYC now. He used to live in LA. He did. There's a little bit of... Um... There's some fruit in there. Yeah. But... When you said chew, you know what I started thinking about? What was the um, that part in the end part in meat when Steve... Um, Steve's, Steve's on? on you know, oh, he's yeah. making his drink and he's <laughs> like, put a little chew in there. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Like how they used to make bourbon. Um <laughs> Big Pizza's back. Hey. Dude. Uh Pran was sourced from NGP. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't explain. <laughs> that got I don't know me. What that, means. that got me. <laughs> It's not oh, like it's your dad, Bailey. You're awesome. <laughs> All right, Dad, you want to try it? Cheers, buddy. Cheers, y'all. Just look up your old address. Dang, you know, for 120 whatever proof that is, that is so smooth. There is not a lot of heat to it. It's easy. It's it's easy on the front end. It's a little tough on the back. Oh man, but it's but so it good. So though. good, yeah. Right in the middle for Where'd me. You get this, Kroger. Get it. <laughs> right in the middle of it, it has this really good. Oh, and it just it keeps yeah, lingering yeah, through the really finish does. too. It it's it's like toast. Uh -huh. Like a like a weeded. All I could think of is that guy I used to see it. Coming off Broadway, it used to be on the old Bob and Tom show. Oh, French Toast guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, with Banks. French Toast. French Toast. <laughs> Damn, this is good. Buttered toast. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I know I don't have to chew, but this I. This is good. For but breakfast. I felt like I needed to. <laughs> oh man. It is buttered toast. That's exactly what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really good. There's a little bit of the corn on there too, but it's not so overpowering that you can't enjoy the rest of the, the second. The second taste was different, so much different than the first taste. Yeah. And on the second taste, I'm starting to get more like dark fruit. Mm -hmm. Like what happened here. Oh, that's from the tripod. Oh. Sorry, Sarah. She's <laughs> fine. She never uses that thing anyway. Nope. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. No, she's not watching anyway. No, no, she's not. Is it nutty? I don't uh -uh. think it is. Uh -uh. I think this is the no. first Jim Beam product that is specifically not nutty. Yeah. Because usually they have some of that, that, that like dark nut yeah, flavor good. to it. That's but good. this is... I wish I had brought the... Uh, I, w I wish I had brought last year's 03 release, the front porch batch. Do I have it? I don't know. Do you? I think I do. Well, if you do, then we should compare. I'll be back. He'll be back. It might take a second. That's okay. Plum jam on buttered toast. Oh, you know what? That's exactly what the fruit is that I'm tasting. It's plum. That's that dark fruit. Oh. You know, people kept saying that the Kathleen's batch was the the best of Booker's so far. I think this is better than Kathleen's batch. Is it the best Booker's I've ever had? I don't no. think so. I think that Off Your Rocker is the best one I've ever had, personally. But this one, though, is spectacular. You know what we do have? What, Off Your Rocker? You still have a bottle of that, right? You haven't gone through? Okay, good. That blue knights two no secret was awesome i've not had no secret still like off your rocker the best 
that's still I mean, I still think that was my favorite one that I've had. But that's just me. This one's incredible. Though. What's that one? It's, um, Is that Kathleen's? Yeah. You want, you want to crack it? Have you not had it yet? You. Oh, Dad. Have you? I've not. Yeah, I've had it. I've not had it from that bottle, of course, though. So. I'm, I'm oh, 2015 round table pick. Okay. Sorry, gotcha. For everybody, no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Do you want to try off your rocker or do you want to do this? I don't care. Let's do that because that was supposed to be... I mean, it, it is really good. And I figured we compared 2018 to 2018. Okay. So this is the this is, this is is the first release this year. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. Finish that. You got it. Clean your glass out. Yes, sir. And we'll pour a little bit more of this so we can compare side by side. Can I tell them about the shirts real fast? Oh, yeah. Talk about the shirt. Okay. My friend um, Darius, he um, is a T-shirt maker. He's a great father. He has three children. One of his daughters is... Hold on. You're trying to talk and drink water. It's just was, you can't do both. Is on a... And I don't know how this all goes. Is is on a, a soccer team that's ranked, I think, number in the top five, at, least, at one point, number one in... Un, in like 12 year olds or something like that mm -hmm. anyway um darius's website is life wasted and um if you're a pearl jam fan i don't know i know debbie and mindy are shout out i told you i'd do it um i don't think debbie's in here anymore but that's okay well i told her that. watch the replay anyway do that um uh, adrian dylan might be watching in australia um, Australia. She's not right. Um, That's British. I yeah, know. Uh, anyway, he takes uh, Eddie's Eddie Vedder's um, handwritten um, set list. That's good. And Jeez. makes T-shirts out of them. And, and uh, wax flying everywhere. This is, this is a song, um, Chloe Dancer, which is also a Mother Love Bone song. Um, it's a cool. Mother Love it, Bone was the band before Pearl Jam, right? And you got it there, muscles. There we go. I got it. Anyway, um, da, 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 that's why I'm wearing da, 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 da. this. It's it's. Um, look him up if you're a Pearl Jam fan. If not, you know he has other things too. Whatever. So so this is Kathleen's new... batch versus Kentucky Chew. Eighteen oh one versus eighteen oh three. And right off the bat, pure Walter. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say. Kathleen's batch is, I mean, I know it's not exactly the same amount. Kathleen's batch looks a lot darker than. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I but it's, this yet. But it's younger. It's younger by a month and oh. two days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason. Welcome to the chat. Jason was going to be on tonight, but I wanted to acclimate Where's everybody to the. Where is he? I mean, Mash and drum. Oh, yo, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, the Mets fan. <laughs> We'd show you the Mets den, but I don't get time for it. Okay, here's what we'll do. <laughs> you, I don't know what was funny about that. I don't know. I just kind of had a okay. little laugh. Got the giggles. I do. Okay, so. Now I'm getting a lot of heat just from the. And this has really started to open up, actually. So, location, location, location. What are we talking about there? Are we talking about the... I don't know. We're selling houses? Yeah. So, smell that in comparison. I'll smell this. I'm hey, trying to... Chevy Chase? I'm trying to make sure that I can smell it well, okay? Oh, in the Rick House. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, too. So different. Yeah. This is a lot less heat, actually, I think, than that one is. Now that it is. has so the the Kentucky Chew, I think, has more of the nuttiness on it. Rare it bird, smells, you're right. It, um, it smells more almondy. 
this one smells fruitier, I think. So what what is it? Is this Kathleen's? No, what you have is the Kentucky Chew. Well, uh, I was wondering Kathleen's. if there was any nutty into it, and it now it is opened up and yeah, a little bit on the Kathleen's, but it's not so much that mm -hmm. it's it, it's a lot less noticeable on the Kathleen's mm -hmm. than it is on the. And he's going for it too. <laughs> Kathleen's is a little. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. Don't say anything. I'm not going to say anything because you've not had it yet. Okay. And then we'll. The meth cleanse fan. a bit. The meth <laughs> fan. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, Dave. Uh, have a good night, buddy. I will talk to you soon. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate See you. See you soon, Rare Bird 101. Do you have to drink <laughs> when Chad's or when when I say nutty, or is it just when Chad says it? Okay, uh, you know what? It's Friday night, so I'll let you decide. Is Chad here? Chad's not here. No, he's not here. So Chad, I can. I'm not going to call Chad. Don't call Chad. It's late. We have to get up early can to go to Four like Roses too. Can can you do like um you did on mm -mm. Instagram? You can't. No. No. I had to set it up beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. That was well. fun when I was on. I had a ball. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I was I had fans. We'll do it again. I I mean, like so this I love this though. Now this is the Kathleen's, correct? Yes. I'm interrupting you. I I like the I like the nose on the chew better. This is smoother though. There's more heat at the end of it than there is in the front. And there's more heat on the front of this one than, than there, there is, is on the, the back. End. Yeah. Yeah. But They're I think that the different. finish, I think that the finish is longer on the chew than it is, or than the, the Kathleen's batch is. I think I, I mean, side by side, yeah. I would have to go with the chew. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, earlier, somebody asked you if they thought that your um, palate was burned up. Yeah, Joseph. Joseph asked that. Um, That's happened before. Does it come back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it could be just the mm -hmm. day, the week, or something like that. I mean, I've heard, like I haven't been drinking that much this week. Yeah. I mean, I've heard people purpose. who take off like a, you know, anywhere from a week to a couple of months. Forget that shit. I'm not going to take <laughs> off that long. And it really helps out, but I'm. So I, I see taste That's good. I see tasting in the same way that I do exercise. Like if I don't work the muscles mm -hmm. enough, then I lose that you know, that functionality. If you don't do so, your tries, well then they're gonna look like they're gonna look like tires. It's not a good look, man. It's not it's all you're gonna look like the Michelin man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try to keep this straight. I, like so that, limit. I just yeah. put that over on your side. I know, but I'm trying to keep it straight so that I don't, you know, confuse the two of them. I'm trying to think if I have something that I'd like for you to try. Um, Big Feet's asked, what did you think of my bar question? What was his bar did question? Did I miss your bar question, Big Feet's? I'm sorry. Let's find out. We're talking, like, amongst ourselves. Yeah, sorry. Single Barrel, Henry McKenna... Um, I don't go to bars we do go to a, a restaurant that has a bar. It's called Suggins, AP Suggins. Jersey. It's a really good place. They Mexican. pour real stiff. And there I do drink Maker's 46, and they do it. And I ask for it on the rocks. It's to, to the brim of the glass. What was the bar question? Big Feet's, repeat Big your Feet's bar question, because I don't know what it was. I can't find it either. Where's Big Feet's from? Jersey. Joyzy. <laughs> is he a Mets fan? No. No, I'm sure he's I'm sure he's not. Why? Jersey is from Joyzy. Well, lo there's lots of Mets. There's a Sorry, lots Chris. of Mets. He's just... <laughs> my wife, my so my wife Lucy is in Your present New wife. York. My my current wife uh, is in New York for work. And she was talking to me earlier and goes, man, people just walk out in front of cars. 
here. And I go, it's New York. They're walking there. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> I think she on was in an story. Uber. She on, was in... on my story. My story. Okay, so it's probably on Instagram. Okay. But, yeah. I'll look back at it. I like I like, like the bar top. Okay. I'm 53 years old. <laughs> Almost 55. Yes. I I'm not that like I'm on Instagram and I'm on all these things and everything, but I don't He's on Instagram, but he doesn't do Instagram. Mm -mm. I'm on Snapchat. But he but doesn't do Snapchat. I did Snapchat to Sarah. I sent Sarah a Snapchat <laughs> photo a little while ago. I won't tell you what it is. Okay, that's here. fine. That's fine. But I mean, anyway, I do tweet and I do. <laughs> we'll go follow him on Twitter. Yeah. At, I've had, is, is that one Ritter 5 or is that JD Ritter 2? That's JD Ritter 2. And the okay. funny thing about the Instagram is that yeah. I've had a lot of followers from this show. Oh, from, really? From the podcast, that's which I funny. love. And that's awesome. That's really that's funny. awesome. It's good. Like, it's Good. like here we are, at Disney World. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> He's from South Jersey. He's South Jersey. South Jersey. Well, that's um, that's Philadelphia. Yeah. So he's he's <laughs> no, dude, it's cool. So you've got to be like, you... <laughs> no, Dad. to my sister. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's hilarious. Jesus Christ. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap things up. Let me find. Wait, let me find something. Oh, you're going to find something? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sure. Yeah, okay. Why not? Yeah. Can we have a minute? Do you care? I mean, I'm not on a timer, I guess, but my wife is calling me. Hey, can I call you right back? Okay. Love you. All right, bye. I'll be, I'll be that brief. was my wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. So McGonaghy was on Fallon the other night. Can, can anybody hear me? Probably not. Um, McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, and he was talking. About, don't pull out. Don't pull out Long Branch. I'm not pulling it out. Oof. Oof. I don't like Long Branch. Um, oh, uh, they can hear you. Okay, Long Branch is what Will said. Oh, the Chattanooga whiskey. It? I don't know. It's quite a jump from. Uh, 126 to to, to 90. 90. Yeah. What do you suggest? Um, I don't know. Hold hold on. How much is that 134 roses? What time am I camping? I'm getting there at about 6:15 tomorrow morning, and it's running for 140, uh, before tax and everything. So, yeah. I don't think I have anything here. Yet. You want to do another Booker's? Yeah. Let's do another Booker's. That's the that's the uh, line that we're on. There was a mosquito over here for some reason. Well, you it. I did. It was odd. Long range wood. Yes. Yes. Um. um yeah. What are you pulling out? Me. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't have the barbecue. The backyard barbecue. That backyard barbecue is so good, though. So good. It's different in a way that, like, it doesn't necessarily taste like Booker's to me, but it tastes, I mean, it just tastes like a really good bourbon. I mean, that's it, you know. Um, I love, I love backyard. I hope you didn't drink it. <laughs> we'll just get the uh, blue knights. Huh? I've got. Um... <laughs> he just gave himself a splinter. I've got uh, from last year. Oh, uh, uh, sip a while. Yeah, sip a while. Have you had this one yet? Yeah, you have. Okay, good deal. Um, no, I haven't. Where the heck did I put the other? Rock? I don't know. We'll find it. Don't worry, we'll find it. All right, we're going to finish off with the uh, sex sip a while. Wise ass. <laughs> Local wants 140 for the backyard barbecue? Absolutely not. What is this? No, this that's yours. No, don't, no, no. Don't pay $140 for Booker's. 
it is a it is an eighty dollar bourbon at the absolute most. Guys, don't pay for it. Don't pay a lot of money for stuff that you're getting ripped off. Correct. Yes. You I mean, are. I mean, for it. Oh, <laughs> because you don't want to get ripped off. If, if if I don't know how how what your demographic of ages with your people that watch. I think I'm the youngest person here right now. <laughs> I'm 25. I so too much. no, I poured the same. Um, but seriously, don't don't get ripped off. No, no. no. And here's my philosophy about nice. things too. That's good. Um, I I really believe that I, I know that some of you guys or some people out there collect bottles and collect stuff. I know there's there's um collectors but sure. but it's I, there to be it's there to be enjoyed i mean i i always say that i open everything that i buy yeah unless it's for somebody else like unless i bought well, it yeah, for it's a, a friend it's a gift yeah exactly but, but i mean if i buy it for myself i'm gonna open it yeah, for myself but but if but if it doesn't matter don't don't pay outrageous prices for no, something no don't don't, don't do, do that don't do something like that I really want some Willits, though. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to pay a shitload of money for. Yeah, absolutely. Drink it. No, I, I totally get that too, Big Pete. Yeah, but like, we it's get just, that. It, I don't. I don't think though that. I mean, we're never going to see Big Feet's is 43. We're never going to. Oh, okay. We're never going to see a premium. I don't think we are, at least a premium Mm -mm. craft beer like we do Mm -mm. premium bourbon because you can crank out beer pretty quickly. Beer, beer, beer is like cola. Sure, if you think about it. Sure, I mean there and 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 no hit as we always said before. There's no hit against whatever we're talking about, but. There's craft breweries at every corner in every mm-hmm. little city or town in Paris, Kentucky. There's three. Sure. And, and yeah, but and with a, a distillery that doesn't do that great. Yeah, but and and but you know I what mean, I mean. Paris has what fifty thousand people. No, they have seventy two. That's still not that much. No, it's I mean not. for for it's three not. craft distillery mm-hmm. or craft breweries. Mm-hmm. That's so they're shitty too. I mean, they're they're not that good. <laughs> um, but but Lexington, Kentucky has uh, um, Noah's Mill is better with cigars. Okay, I'll do that. Not a hundred, but but plenty, and they're 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 good. Um, Matt, Dad works in Paris. Uh, his mom lives there too. Uh, nuts to see what people pay for eighties wild turkey. I would pay some of those. I'm not. Not quite exactly those prices that people pay for turkey. I mean, but I mean, I would still dig a little deeper for an for an eighties, a nineteen eighties bottle of wild turkey. What about in nineteen eighties early times? <laughs> Which I have. Did you bring the other one home? No, I still have eighties. Yeah, I bring it home. There's a wild. I have an eighties wild turkey. What? Mm-hmm. Here? Mm-hmm. There? It's in a pint. Dad. <laughs> it's oh it was it was bad. I don't care if it was open. <laughs> I told you about that, dog. Did you? Yeah. Dog. Did you hear that? Um who who knows about Matt knows about Oh, he's in Alexandria. Okay. No, I don't know if I would pay fifty, but you know, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Why? Uh, cheesy gold foil. I wouldn't pay that high. For, I. You know what? I don't know. I'm not in a place to say that I would pay that much over my head. But no, that's okay. That's okay. I don't know what it is. You'll tell me later. Yeah, I will. I will. Anyway, um, I I don't like this as much as I do the other two no, that we I just had. I think I still think that Kentucky Chew was my favorite of mm. everything that we've had so far. But anyway, I agree. Um. Let's wrap it Let's up. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. And we're sorry to keep you all. Perry needs to call um, Lucy back. Yeah. I got to call my wife. 
Um, uh, if you want to follow Dad on Twitter, he's at JD Ritter two. If you want to follow him on Instagram, he's at Ritter five. I appreciate um, it. That's my dad. Um, <laughs> aw, oh, it's my dad. Oh. Um, uh, if you want to follow the show on uh, social media, we are at My Bourbon Pod. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If you want to send us an email, it's uh, this is my bourbon shop at gmail.com. If you'd like to become a patron of the show, it's patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. No, Five support stars. the show, please, dude. Please. I, I'm not yeah. out of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, kidding. Five star rate and review on iTunes. We would really like to get more people uh, listening to the show if possible. Um, if you guys are around this weekend or next weekend, we'll be at uh, Bourbon Festival tomorrow, and then and I'll be there Sunday. Bourbon and Beyond uh, next weekend. So I'll be Bourbon Fest on Sunday with Dane. Night party at Four Roses. We're gonna party tomorrow morning at Four Roses, I'm sure. But yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, do I have a? Can I um, go cats? Go cats. Go cats, cats by thirty. Uh, life wasted. Yeah. Um, um, what's the other pro oh, Vitology mm. for Pearl Jam? Uh, uh, it's a great, um, it's a great, um, charity, lost charity, charity. Yeah, charity. anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate That's you guys. <laughs> I will see you very soon, but until then, I'm Perry. <laughs> but until then, maybe Thanksgiving. I'm Perry. This is my bourbon podcast live stream. <laughs>